Mulligan's Landing. She's been practicing. She got to see last week, and so here she's going to present Rumble with the Jungle with the men. Can I hear some applause? Chicago bar, unless they just ran out of signs, but either way. So I'm originally from Chicago, and um, <laughs> I have a huge Irish Catholic family, and for the last couple years, I have been the only one going home without a significant other, because I'm single. Yes, thank you, single. Anybody? <laughs> now, I didn't think there was anything wrong with being single until my grandma pulls me over this year and says, hey, did you move to Vegas and become a lesbian? <gasps> Couldn't believe what she said. I've never heard my grandma talk like that before. I mean, she's never had an Irish accent. <laughs> yeah, so, so of course not, Grandma. Clam sandwiches are just not my thing. I mean, you know I'm allergic to fish. <laughs> so rude that she asked them. So I've been trying to work out lately, mostly because I'm just tired of dating black guys. There's nothing wrong with black guys. <laughs> Nothing wrong with black guys. Yeah. I'm just tired of all the chicken and waffles that really fills you up. So, those right here. <laughs> so, I've been trying to work out, and um, there's, I really love the classes at the athletic club that I go to. Only there's one class that I won't be going back to, mostly because I've been asked not to. Okay? <laughs> Kickboxing, they never tell you you have to have any kind of musical talent. Now, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm white. And I am your stereotypical white girl, yeah. <laughs> I can't hear the beat. I don't know if there is one, and I don't know where to look for it. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what Snoop is shizzling about, or why I can't touch this. <laughs> or even what it is that I can't touch. No one's really told me yet. So, so I'm in kickboxing and I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, forget it. I'm just going to town and I'm kicking and I'm, I'm punching and the hook and the, and I start doing the Elaine, you know, I don't even know Seinfeld. But yeah, you, I knew I could count on you. All right, so anyway, so I'm kicking, I'm just going to town and I start closing my eyes and I just, I pretend I'm Beyonce, you know, I'm just like, yeah, I'm so good at this. Don't ever close your eyes when you're in a room full of people. I didn't realize it was a problem until my foot quickly came in contact with the lady in front of me. I think she wouldn't have been as mad if I didn't kick her right in her baby maker. <laughs> I've always been better at sports, so I thought I did something awesome. <laughs> she probably would have been less upset if I was in the back of my touchdown! <laughs> oh, okay, I need a better line for that one. So, one of the rules of the gym, it says, do not make loud, awkward noises. It will offend and upset other members. I think it should say, no ejaculation of any kind. Did I, did I, did I lose you guys over here? Ejaculation. It's also verbal. Oh, never heard that in the gym? Okay, right, we're gonna move on. Okay. Can you help them out there? How about Dad? Okay. Um, so I really hate it when people say, the grass is always greener on the other side. Really, is it? Because I don't think the grass is greener when you're short. I'm sorry, I know that it might look greener. Are you short, sir? I can't really see you, Sam. It's the sandals, isn't it? So I understand the grass might look greener because you're closer to it, but it's also gonna take you longer to mow it because short people have baby legs. Shorter steps. So, yeah, but that's okay because the really cool thing about being short is that if you're short enough, you get one of those really cool uh, parking passes that gets you way up front. But then that really sucks because you have to drive something little and gay like like a PT Cruiser 
or a Mazda. I don't, I don't know. Whatever small. <laughs> That's my short friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> throw that one out there for him. <laughs> so I really like it when some colors get to double up and be more than one thing, like orange. It gets to be a color in a fruit. Pink gets to be a color in a person. Amber's my favorite. It gets to be a color, a gem, an alert. Does anyone get that? Okay. And a stripper. Yes. Yeah. I like you. Thanks. I just, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> I bet they know each other, huh? <laughs> Black is my favorite. It gets to be a color in a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Gray gets to be a color and our president. No. I would have went with Oreo, but that's not a color. So work with me here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and white. That gets to be a color and a whole bunch of people waiting for the next election. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of Democrats in here, don't we? <laughs> it's okay. Yes, we can. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave you <laughs> with this last thought, okay? It's a real thinker, so get ready. You might wanna lean forward for this one. Okay. Redbox video rental. It's kind of like trying to have sex during the wrong week. <laughs> It could either be a horrible mess or a fabulous evening. It just depends on what you're into. Thank you, I'm Kate. <laughs>